All righty, 3DM Jairs. So prep always goes spectacularly uh, until it doesn't anymore, right? So my body's kind of wrecked, right? Um, it came to me kind of out of the blue. What happened, right? Well, first of all, I mean, let's face it. I'm 52 years old and I am 165 pounds uh, in this video here. And you can kind of see here, notice right here, there's glute striations that are, are starting to show up here. So, you know, signs that uh, Brad's getting pretty lean and uh, therefore Brad is getting pretty fragile. So two things have, have kind of snuck up on me and wrecked me, right? This is my last squat workout. Did this at home. And I thought I was experiencing a little bit of uh, QL, quadratus lumborum pain. Um, this was a fantastic deadlift workout out right here. Um, and I was doing things to keep that uh, prehabbed, but it's gotten really bad and it's moved. The pain is no longer over my QL. It's, it's my sciatica. It's my in my left hip bone. Um, and so as a result, this was my last deadlift session. It went great. The pain was not there at all uh, as I was doing uh, my work. And then after the workout, um, I couldn't I couldn't hardly move around without feeling a pretty good pain right in my left hip bone, uh, which is where my sciatica usually manifests itself. So the other thing that's really, really bothering me is I have now strained my infraspinatus insertion again. Um, at first, it didn't seem as bad as when I did it the first time, but a couple days later, uh, it was just as bad, if not worse. So bench press training was going great. And uh, like I said, this, this, this happens, right? So here's the important thing. What am I going to do about it, right? Well, I need to rest, first of all. Uh, I need at least four days off from training. I'm going to have to stray from my prep plan. Uh, and I'm going to do so without any fear at all. And guess what? We're starting fresh. Now it begins. Now prep begins, right? So essentially what it boils down to is that I need a diet break and I need time off from training. And I'm not going to worry about backtracking. I'm not going to have any fear uh, at all uh, taking these four days off. So, you know, this is this is important things that come along with experience and wisdom. Um, prep has gone great up until this point. I've made fantastic progress. And that is is not going to change. I'm going to continue to do that once I let my body heal. Uh, and rest up. So I'm going to rehab my shoulder just like I did before. It went wonderful last time. And I was back to heavy bench pressing in two weeks. And I was back to training in a modified fashion in about four days. So right now I am three days post injury and I will probably start training again in two days. And if all goes according to plan um, and the rehab works like it did last time, I will be able to bench press heavy again a week before the meet. And again, I'm not too worried about it. There's no fear involved here. If I can get back to benching sooner, I will. But I'm not going to lose my strength at all. Um taking these four days off and not bench pressing, you know, for the next week or two weeks. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to diet break. And the way that I'm going to diet break is a little bit unique. I'm basically going to give myself free, unlimited amounts of raw vegetables and some fruits, specifically low calorie fruits like strawberries and blueberries and things like that. So I'm going to track everything like I normally do, track the big stuff. Uh, I'm going to hit my calories and my protein like I normally do. But I'm going to eat raw vegetables, carrots, mushrooms, uh, things like that, Brussels sprouts, 
Um, and then of course some raw fruits, low calorie raw fruits, strawberries, uh, and, um, blueberries and things like that. And I'm not going to track them at all. I'm going to eat as much as I want. That's basically going to be my, my diet break. The shoulder rehab, I've got it documented extensively. It's going to come out at some point, um, through team 3DMJ's content production. But essentially, I could not raise my arm up like this pain-free about three, four days ago. So I started using assisted work like so. Basically just lifting up my arm in a full range of motion using this arm to do the work. Uh, after I did that for a day, I started doing it just lifting the weight of my arm only. 10 repetitions over and over and over again. And then today... Three days post injury, I just I held on to a little two and a half pound dumbbell and I started raising my arm up again using that two and a half pound dumbbell, like so. Each time that I do that, that thing that I'm doing, it hurts. But exposure therapy. When I first started doing this, it hurt like crazy. The next day I did this, it hurt like crazy. The next day I used a two and a half pound dumbbell, it hurt like crazy. But the next day, that thing did not hurt anymore. So while this hurt the first day. This did not hurt the second day. Lifting my arm hurt the second day. The third day, which is today, this did not hurt and lifting my arm did not hurt. The two and a half pound dumbbell is what hurt. And I will continue my rehab like that, loading in this fashion, a heavier and heavier and heavier dumbbell until basically the load is such that it's now training, right? So that's the plan. Diet break by not tracking and eating unlimited raw vegetables and some raw fruits. Rehabbing my shoulder in the way that I just outlined. I'm going to get back to training in two days time after having four total days off from training. Uh, first week is where uh, of the peaking cycle is where things kind of went awry. So um, this is where I strained my infraspinatus right here. And this was what I had left to do right here. And I mean, basically, folks, I didn't get any of it done. Uh, I took the day off. So again, am I worried about it? No. Um, I want to show up, compete at my meet strong and healthy. Um, and that is really the only objective. Um, oops, I did get the bench done, though. Let's put that back in there. So, um, yeah, this did not get done. Uh, the squat did not get done and the machine laterals obviously didn't get done. Uh, since I killed my shoulder, none of that got done. Right. Uh, moving on to, uh, the peaking cycle, uh, week two at this point, what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip this workout right here altogether. And again, rest. So that ain't getting done. Okay. Um, this workout here, same thing. Uh, I don't think that's getting done. And so I think, uh, Wednesday, uh, no heavy singles here. I think Wednesday, uh, when I return to training, I'm probably going to start right here with this workout, a high bar squat, single, uh, a comp bench, heavy single and a back down. Uh, Thursday, we'll probably do this deadlift and this back extension or excuse me, back work here, take a day off Friday, go back here, do this on Saturday. And then of course, finish up with the final week of the peaking cycle here. All right. So those that like the, uh, visual explanation more like, so, uh, let's scroll down to, um, current week. So 165.8. The next day I was 165.4. Today is the 22nd. I am 164. Um, so like I said, this was the last session here. No session here. No session here. All of this is going to be off until uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday until right here. And then again, the plan is three, four, two week to peak workout three. 
Uh, and again, folks, you know, uh, the Brad uh, of probably 10 years ago would have been freaking out right now. Probably would have just said, you know what, got to back out of the meat. Can't do it. Not going to get new uh, PRs, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Can't train, going to get weaker, going to lose all my muscle. No, none of that right now. Uh, with age comes wisdom, right? And uh, I know what it is that I need to do. I'm still fixated on my goals. I'm still doing the things that I need to do to get that goal. But right now I need, I need to rest and I need to diet break. So, um, again, now we begin without fear, without hesitation. Um, you can see here, uh, it kind of, over the course of time, look at poor workout here, but you know, it just, it moved poorly, right? Everything swimmingly, right? Whenever something bad happens, I put it in red. So, um, green here, everything's good. Oh, left QL was sore, uh, affected deadlift technique, remarkably good session. And then this week here, you can just see it, it, it kind of went to, went to health for lack of a better term, right? So again, it, it's, it's part of the process. I'm getting leaner. Uh, here it is, the, the end of April, almost beginning of May. Brad's in a beanie cap, heater's on down here. I'm lean, I'm fragile. Um, Got to do the things that I need to do to keep going with the process, but do it in a smart fashion and do it, you know, without fear. We fall a thousand times, we get back up. Now it begins again.